Okay. Well, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. We had a small malfunction because my alarm went off. Beginners, eh? Anyway, so there's my one corner unit. Now, I love this unit because this is where lots of my bigger pieces of fabric are kept. A lot of Liberty fabric in there. A few more clocks. As I said, hole in the ceiling. Got to keep it real, you know. Little display. There's my Mac, which I download patterns on. I listen to music on. All of that sort of stuff. There's all sorts of stuff underneath there that goes to handmade every week. There's a cupboard. This unit is full of stretch fabrics. That's all for underwear, lingerie, and that type of thing. Quilting, rulers, little mini gorgeous vintage machine, which I will be restoring very soon. Lots of buttons and bottles. <laughs> they at least all in bottles and color coordinated. And buried somewhere under all the stuff, you may just get a peek of an industrial sewing machine. It sews leather anything really it's remarkable fabulous old machine hmm dustbin for putting threads and fabric bits and pieces because i don't throw them out they get recycled get used for stuffing all sorts of things and of course there's my ironing station as well you know what i always say at handmade if you are going to iron you sew, you need to iron. Iron is just as important, if not more important, than the actual sewing because a bad sewer with good pressing skills has equal strength in my book as a good sewer with bad pressing skills. So that is my little sewing space. So I hope you've enjoyed that little tour. I want you to please post some things about what... Oh... Sorry, I'm just dis distracted by the prettiness of this lovely lady. Give her a name for me in the comments field. I need a name. Um, I've just covered her. She was an ugly red mm, fabric like that at the top there. And terrible for putting pins and things into. So I've given her a lovely sleeve. So now she has a nice covering and she looks really pretty which I think my daughter will appreciate. And um, so give me a name. Like, right, remember the whole spiel and the mantra? Hello, Mark. Thank you for the coffee. Hubby's just walked in with the coffee. I tell you, the service in this place is fantastic. Um, so, yes, she needs a name. So like, comment, and a share. Remember the three things we have to do to get our name out there, to get other people sewing with us. Uh, but yes, please give her a name. Uh, she's now got a lovely stretch outer so that when I pin into it, um, it's going to be a lot easier. So I'm going to probably give this one to my daughter and then make myself a new one. So enough of the sewing room. I'm just going to turn you around and say hello. Hello. So there you go. That's my messy sewing room. Next week, I'm going to hopefully give you an update worth a slightly less messy sewing room so on a more personal note how is everybody right um it's important that if you're not well or if you are feeling low um that you keep in contact with us please you know there's lots of us out there that can get out i can't necessarily but you know what i'm here on the end of a phone if you've got sewing um crises or sewing emergencies i'm your girl phone me facetime me i'd rather do it in person than on an email but you can email me the details and then we can talk to each other over a video or something so if your health is good give me a thumbs up please give me a like if your health is not so good maybe put an x or a sad face or a quarantine mask or something like that into the comments field because liking sharing and commenting helps our audience to grow and to multiply so please keep healthy keep away keep your distance i seriously the only person i can't keep my distance from is my husband and that's saying something because you know what tomorrow is our 40th wedding anniversary hey, hey so guess what that lovely lunch we had planned may now become a braai for those of you who are not south african that's a barbecue or we may take a takeaway 
picnic from a restaurant and go park ourselves in a National Trust property because they've opened their gates for free. All National Trust properties for everybody, guys, free. You can't go into the houses, but you can go into the grounds and the parking for free. So make use of these opportunities while you still can, please. So comments. I see a few comments coming in. I am not ignoring you. Well, sort of I am, <laughs> but I'm not ignoring you intentionally. I'm ignoring you right now because I can't multitask with the equipment I've got. So what I'm going to do is, oh, I touched my nose, you see? Mm. Anyway, um, I'm at home. I'm isolated, so hopefully I'm okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to answer all of your comments at the end, okay? So I won't ignore you. So keep commenting. I will get back to you. Whether it's a sewing-related question, a silly question about my messy sewing room, all that sort of stuff. Okay? Lovely. Right. What's next? Ah, I'm going to clean up the sewing room. And then I'm going to broadcast a slightly cleaner sewing room. And perhaps uh, at the same time, we'll go through a few of my sewing machines. The ones that I really love. The ones that work hard for me, that do good things. And the ones I can 100% recommend to you guys if you want to get a vintage machine and um, get it fixed up. Well worth it compared to a modern machine. I cannot stress that enough. So that's it. WhatsApp. WhatsApp. Seriously? What's up with WhatsApp? I have had so many new groups formed. It's driving me mad. Okay. I am not the social butterfly. So what I do is so so sorry I, sorry so uh, what i do is i mute the group now that means you still see the notifications when you log in or on your notification screen whatever phone you're using but you don't get the pinging in your ear constantly it drives me bonkers so what i do is once every few times a day i'll go on and i'll read all my messages if it's from a group that's really urgent, that's fine. I will look at it quickly. But yeah, don't get rid of yourself off the groups. Just mute the group instead. Keep the group going. You know, you need the social interaction, guys, please. So mute. If you don't know how to do it, I can tell you now, somebody younger than us definitely knows how to do it. So use them um, to learn some new skills. So that is what we are doing. And that's where we are up to. And I uh, hope that's been helpful. I would like it if you could all take a picture for me of your sewing space or your workspace, your craft space, and post it on here for us on Hesketh Emporium on Facebook, on Instagram, uh, on uh, our WhatsApp group, wherever you have access to. Come on, post, post, post. And as a final note, tomorrow, for those of you who don't know it yet, which would be crazy because I talk about it all the time, I go to church. And church is, well, not cancelled, but church, the building itself is closed. But we are, the building isn't the church. The people are the church. Yeah, that's it. And we are gathering online tomorrow for the first time. And if you go to today's community church, Wigan, you will find a link there and you can watch. We'd be lovely for you to join us and um, see what it is that we get up to in that mad big building in Wigan on a Sunday morning, 11 o'clock. So love you guys. I hope that um, I haven't prattled on too much for you. And next time you see me, A, I'll have a bit of better equipment and B, I will have hopefully a tidier sewing room. So that's my aspiration. Will I get it done? Mm, we will see. Love you all so much. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you at my next video live broadcast, which will probably be Wednesday. So have a great week. Take care. Love you lots.